Okay. Uh, okay, let's look at this question. Yeah? The center to center distance between the Earth and the Moon is, <laughs> again, it's a catch here. I don't like all this non SI unit. Remember to change it. Huh? Circle it first. Once you see non SI unit, circle it first uh, so that you remember to change it to SI unit later on. Okay? The Moon completes uh, an orbit in 27.3 days. What does it mean by this one? Determine the Earth's mass. Okay, so we need to find the mass of Earth. Okay? Now, um, okay, what is happening here? Moon. How does it move? Uh, you must have the general knowledge. Okay? The moon revolves around the Earth. And the moon revolves around the Earth. It's not the Earth revolves around the moon. It is the moon revolves around the Earth. Let us draw out the situation here. Ah, uh, I will draw for you. You see? Uh, the moon revolves around the Earth. So the moon is just like the we can say it is like the satellite. Uh, it is like the satellite. Uh, okay? Satellite. So uh, what we want to find is the Earth mass. Uh, we want to find the, uh, the Earth mass. Okay? Mass of Earth. Okay? So uh, we, or we can say this is the this is the considered the point mass. The Earth is the point mass. And the satellite is the test mass. Okay, the moon is a test mass. Okay, so, uh, okay, uh, the center to center distance between Earth and the moon. The Earth and the moon, center to center is the R. Uh, so, this is uh, actually the radius of the orbit already. Uh, this is already the radius of orbit. Ah, uh, understand? It's already the radius of the orbit because center to center, this is the R already. Uh, this is the R already. So you don't need to find altitude. No need to find the radius of Earth. It's already, it's already the radius of the orbit. Okay? Uh, so it complete the orbit. The moon complete the orbit in uh, complete one revolution. Yeah? Complete the orbit. That means complete one revolution in how many, how many days? Uh, in how, how much time? Uh, this is the period to complete one revolution, to complete an orbit, which is uh, 27.4 days. Again, this one you have to convert to second. Uh, the days you need to convert to second. Okay, uh, first of all, let us, uh, let's convert first. Huh? I, I like to convert first the period. Okay, the period is 27.3 days. Uh, so, how many seconds? Okay, one day, how many hours? 24 hours. One day is 24 hour. One hour got 60 minutes. And one minute got 60 seconds. Okay, let's multiply and see. Okay. Right? Okay, let me let, let us check. Huh? Let us check. Um, okay, so it is uh this period is uh 2, 3, oh, this a lot of figures. 2.35, 2.35. 2, 2, 3, 5, 8, 7, 2, 3, 5, 8, 7, 2. Okay, I'm correct. So, how many? You have 3, 6. Oh, you have exponent 6. Second. Uh, yeah, you have uh, 6. Exponent 6. That's correct. Okay. Okay, I maintain as many decimal, decimal places so that more accurate. So, now, uh, how to find the earth mass? Uh, use the formula for period. Period of satellite, uh, in our case here, our satellite is the moon. Satellite is the moon. Moon also has its orbit. Yeah? It revolves around the earth. The moon revolves around the earth. So this is the formula for period. Okay? Uh, use the concept of uh, gravitational force equal to centripetal force. Okay? Period equal to 2 pi square root r cubed over gm. Remember the r is the radius of orbit. Okay? And this m is the mass of earth. Uh, remember this is the mass of earth uh, because the mass of satellite is already being cancelled off the mass of satellite or the mass of the moon is already being cancelled uh, the mass of the moon is not important what important is the mass of earth uh, okay now okay so let's write down the formula here period is 2 pi square root r cube over gm uh, again, I like to write down uh, this M is the mass of Earth. 
the provider of the field, the point mass. Okay, always refer to the point mass, not the test mass. It's the point mass who provide the provider of the field. And this is the radius of the orbit. Uh, the, the, the orbit radius. Uh, yeah, radius of orbit. Uh, yeah, this is the radius of orbit. Okay, so we already got all the information needed. So what, what, what are we waiting for? Let's find out the answer. Okay, so let's write down, okay, 2.35872. 2.35872 exponent 6 um, and then equal to 2 pi and then uh, square root okay uh, sorry uh, r cube where is the r r r is a uh, 384400 wow uh, exponent on the kilometer the kilo i don't like the uh, the you must change all the to si unit yeah yeah make it red color now make it red color yeah yeah. Uh, so, okay. Uh, so, must change all to SI unit. Okay, done. Cube, don't forget the cube. Uh, many students, uh, you write very long. After you write very long, you forgot about the cube. Uh, you forgot about the cube. That's also another kind of, uh, another kind of uh, careless. Carelessness. Carelessness is a disease. You understand? Carelessness is a disease. Uh, cannot be cured. Yeah, it happened to me just now also. <laughs> Carelessness is a disease. So G is a six point six seven exponent negative eleven. Ah, uh, and then mass of Earth. Mass of Earth. What's ah? We want to find mass of Earth, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we want to find a uh, mass of Earth. Okay. So what's the mass of Earth? Oh, it's a long equations. Um, you know, just find the answer. Ah, I got the answer. Okay, after a long uh, calculation using just mathematics, okay, I got the answer. Mass of Earth is six point uh, six point zero four. Six point zero four. Uh, exponent twenty twenty four uh, kilogram. Uh, that's the mass of Earth. Six point zero four. Uh, exponent 24 is that correct yes it's correct mass of earth 6.04 exponent 24 that's correct okay good uh, let's move on to the next questions hope you understand yeah the moon always revolve around the earth uh, okay moon is like the satellite uh, okay let me let me drop uh, this is the the, the, the uh, here is the velocity of satellite uh, yeah this is the velocity of satellite. The time to complete one revolution is this period, 27.3 days for the moon to revolve around the Earth. Okay, moon is the satellite in this case. Okay, this is the speed of satellite. Uh, we also can, if you want to find the speed, just use the formula V equal to uh, square root G mass of Earth divided by uh, radius of the orbit. Again, yeah, radius of the orbit, use this one. This center to center distance between Earth and the Moon. Uh, this one lah. Okay. Mass of Earth. Just now we got it. And we can find the velocity of the Moon. Okay. Using this equation. Okay. Thank you.